So some common questions I get in clinic and on social media are where does an egg come from? Where does an egg and sperm meet? Where is a pregnancy carried for nine months? Let's talk about some of these topics today. You know what I'm gonna say next. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave me comments if you have questions that I didn't address in this videos and I can build new videos on your questions. First, definitely check out my video on the menstrual cycle called The Menstrual Cycle Made Easy. That video goes over the hormonal dynamics that occur in a menstrual cycle and are also important to understand when trying to conceive. In this video, we'll focus on the dynamics of specifically the egg, the sperm, and the embryo. And we'll break it down into four steps. Step one, your eggs are in your ovaries and we describe it like your eggs are locked away in a vault within your ovaries and we cannot see them. Each month, a certain number are released and become visible on ultrasound. And what we'll see are follicles in your ovaries on the ultrasound. Each follicle has a microscopic egg within it that we can't see. So what will happen each month is that one of those follicles will grow to be the dominant follicle with the maturing egg in it and will eventually ovulate and the rest of the eggs will die off. Next month, another set of follicles and eggs within them will be released from the vault. Step two, during the follicular phase, that dominant follicle is growing and that egg within it is maturing. Once the follicle reaches a certain size, there are signals in the body that tell the egg to release, and that process is ovulation. And after the egg is released, it will travel down the fallopian tube. Step three, intercourse should happen around the same time as ovulation, and the sperm will travel through the vagina, cervix, uterus, and then meet the egg actually in the fallopian tube. One sperm will fertilize the egg, and then we will have an embryo. Step four, the embryo will travel the remainder of the distance of the fallopian tube and into the uterus, and it will implant in the uterus. And this is where a pregnancy will continue for nine months. Now, let's go over an important point. What are the chances of trying to conceive each month? Well, hopefully from this video, as you get an understanding of how pregnancy happens, you also get an understanding that the human reproductive system is not an efficient way to conceive, and a lot of things have to be normal and in the right place at the right time. And when everything is normal and the woman is young, the chances of conceiving each month are only 20 to 25%. And this percentage can be impacted by other factors, such as the woman's age or the duration of infertility or how long the couple have been trying to conceive. And these factors can have negative impacts on pregnancy rates each cycle. So it's important to consider this too, and we'll go over this in more detail in future videos. Don't forget, you can join me on other social media platforms for fertility education on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and my website, which is www.mukatherisonmd.com. Did you find this video helpful? Do you have more questions? Please let me know in the comments below so that I can address the topic in future videos. And if you found the video helpful, if you liked the video, don't forget to give me a like, share it with your fellow fertility warriors, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.